All right, so yes, some video of me doing some training with Katana. Thought I'd do a narration over top of it because I definitely want to say some things to all of you who are taking the time to at least watch this. Listen, I, I you know, every day I answer a ton of questions online, email, Facebook, you name it. Um, there is a common theme and the common theme to their problems leaves me to give a common theme to all my answers that just makes sense i find myself saying over and over again it's time for you to re-establish your relationship with your dog through daily obedience training listen i have yet to hear a logical objective reason why you shouldn't be interacting with your dog in a structured manner going over some basic behaviors doing some training What's the big deal? You know, it's like if you can take 20 minutes to rub their belly and cuddle with them, which really doesn't help them a whole lot. It, humans usually do it for themselves because they feel good doing it. Your dog, I promise you, would really enjoy the two of you getting up, going somewhere. I don't care if it's your garage, your basement, an extra bedroom, your backyard, an alleyway, an empty parking lot at the gas station next door. It doesn't matter as long as it's nice and boring when you're beginning. A lot of people make the mistake of going too fast, too far, pushing the dog. No, we want to start out easy in the beginning. But just going somewhere and having them do some things for you. In the very beginning, I got a bunch of people. Listen, I got people right now that I'm coaching over the internet. I'm not even there. I'm not even in person. I don't need to be. And I got them just teaching their dog to look them in the face. Focus, engagement, skills that will last a lifetime, skills that will prevent the dog from getting into dog fights, pre prevent them from dragging their owners down the street. Little stuff. Listen, this video is four minutes and 23 seconds. That's all the training I did with her. I mean, afterwards, then I let her run. I mean, I threw that ball <laughs> 75 yards a couple times. Um, that nice little green stick I'm holding allows you to throw the ball really far, really easily without chucking your shoulder out. Uh, it's called a chuck it, by the way. And no, I didn't get paid to say that. I mean, I used, I paid for that with my own money. They're not paying me. I love that thing. Um, that's it. I spent four minutes going over some basic behaviors in a park. We didn't start out in the park. We started out in the backyard. Actually, we started in the garage and we worked on that side of the house and then we worked to the backyard uh, then we went to a grocery store parking lot and now we're at a park where there's horns beeping in the background and some people no dogs no cats right now we're keeping it easy anybody who's watching this right now regardless of what kind of dog you have you can train these behaviors it might not look exactly the same your dog i mean this is a malinois they're super athletic it's like the indy car of dogs right um but anybody can do the type of training I'm doing in this video. I am not gifted at this. I, I'm not a natural dog person. I, I sucked for many years. I've been doing this over 20. And I was horrible. And it took me a long, long time. Which means you can do it. And it's not going to take you as long because I'm going to tell you exactly how to do it. You're not going to have to go through all the bullshit that I did to figure it out. So listen... I, save your excuses. Don't tell them to me. Don't tell them to anyone else. You can't lie to your dog because they can see right through that shit. Um, listen, get a clicker, get some treats, get a ball, get outside, pick some things that you want to see your dog do again and reinforce them when they do it. Go train. Just make sure before you do, you drop your ego before you pick up that leash and you remember the most powerful force in teaching. It's no force at all. See ya.